All right, YouTubers, I'm going to do a four-month review of a product. And uh, to prove to you it's been four months, I'm out here in the snow. And to prove to you that I use these in the RV, I'm going to go in the RV. Oh, yeah. It's December. It's been four months that I've had these pans, and uh, I figured I would give a review on them. I'll try to keep it quick. These are the Copper Chef pans. Um, quick to start with. I do not work for Copper Chef. I am not connected to them in any way, and I am not going to receive any anything for giving a review of these pans. I don't fault people that do that, but just letting you know, this doesn't help me in any way. But hopefully they'll help you. With Christmas coming up, maybe people are looking for a gift. So hopefully you can tell they're in good shape after four months. And honestly, I use these every day. Now I will admit, this is the... Uh, steamer and a basket that like you can do pasta in i have never used these so i assume they work but and i think they're still in great shape no problems whatsoever so why i got them and what i like about them i got these because as you can see i'm in an rv and i travel a lot and i like that they were lightweight and i wanted something that worked on induction and these were relatively inexpensive and they work on induction I will not make any claims that these are the greatest pans in the history of history, but they're good, they're solid. Um, I like the lightweight, and I like that basically two pans have replaced, well, should have replaced everything else I need. And in an RV, if you can limit yourself down to these amount of pans, you're doing pretty well, I think. There's a few rules to these that I have applied. Never leave them on heat for no reason, <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're going to try to heat up a pan, you want to do it relatively quick, quickly. Um, you can put these in the dishwasher. I have never done so. I, I'm I'm old school, I guess. I never put pans in the dishwashers anyways. And usually I'm in the RV and I don't have a dishwasher, obviously. Now what's funny is in the booklet it says it's not intended for camping. And how I, how I uh, interpret that is they don't think you should be putting this on a fire. <laughs> you know? But I will say, I have cooked with this on the induction cooktop, electric burner in my house, and one I travel with. I've used it on my propane stove in the RV, and gas stoves, and have had zero, no problems whatsoever. The one thing I will admit is, I have never placed these in an oven. I know you can do it, but I haven't done that myself. They also say you should not use cooking sprays on these, which I have not done. I've used olive oil, but I've never put any cooking sprays in these. Uh, simple things I do when I stack these in my RV when I'm traveling. That's what I do. Bingo. Pretty simple. They're not scratched up. So I've basically cooked everything you can think of. I've, I've made pasta in it. I've made soups in it. I've uh, cooked vegetables in it. I have cooked steaks in it, seared things, pan fried stuff. Pretty much everything, except as I said, these have never gone in the oven. I will say that um, I have a family member that bought a set of these before I did. And one of their pans has been discolored. But he says it's still non-stick and slips very well. Mine, as you can see, have not the color has not changed at all. I haven't done anything. I'm not sure what he did to do that or what they did. But... Uh, Again, I haven't had that problem. I have been extremely satisfied with the non-stick slip. I think I got a clip here, but I've cooked cheese in this, like fried cheese in it. Okay, we got the pan getting hot because we're going to make a cheese hat. You can just slide around. Copper Chef pan, I under, flip. And even just flipped, I can still slide it around. I can sometimes become easily distracted, and there have been a couple times that I have burnt something in this, and it has always come out easy. I wanted to show that because here's going to be a clip of me burning something, and I purposely did not scrape it off until after. You know, I didn't want burnt food in with my food. All right. I'm just doing the review and I wanted to show you this is cooking a meal where I overcooked it and uh, when I show you uh, 
and I've already showed you how well they clean up, so I, I'm, I'm happy with these. But I wanted to show you this after that this is the pan, and as you can see, it is in fine shape. See? Proof that it is December 14th. Now, <clears throat> as I've said, that these pans have done everything that I have hoped they would do. They are non-stick, very non-stick, um, but there are some downsides. I tend to be one of those people that bangs a utensil against a pan, and these pans are very thin, which again is good in an RV, less weight, but you don't want to bang anything, I don't think, on there either. These will get hot. These handles will get hot, hotter than I expected, so that's something you should know. I think they tried to make them hollow so they wouldn't, but they can get hot, so you have to be careful of that. I, I, I think in my initial review I said, because I read, you do not want to put these directly into water to wash them when they're still hot. Because they are so thin, they would uh, you could warp these pans pretty easily, and I haven't done that, and they're still in good shape. I will also say, I don't know if you can see it in the pan if the light will hit it right, but you can kind of see that circle, and that circle is this heat plate. Well, well, you get good even heating around the whole bottom surface of the pan, but you can tell that there is a hotter circular section. Uh, maybe I'll throw some water in it and boil some water, and you can see that the center gets a little bit hotter. I haven't noticed that to be a problem, but it is a thing. All right, I want to boil some water in here to show you that ring. I'll do the magic of fast forward. All right, I'll take the lid off so you can see it. It'll take a tiny bit longer. You can already see a ring kind of forming where the bubbles are going to be. So that circle, that heat plate is pretty obvious. But again, I still think it disperses the heat pretty well on the bottom of the pan. But that plate's what's needed to make this induction. And whether you're using it on an induction or when I've used it on propane, it still seems to have that. Okay, so that's enough of that, but it shows you... I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, because as I said, it seems to dissipate the heat across the bottom of the pan pretty well. But, it is what it is. But in cooking, I've never found it to be a problem with this pan. Just gee whiz stuff, I guess. So overall, I would say... Um, these pans are pretty forgiving. Hopefully a lot of people knows what that means, but they can be pretty forgiving. But if you're looking to do some RVing and you're looking for some pans or around your house, whatever you want to do, I, I personally am pretty happy with Copper Chef pans. I, I would uh, highly recommend them to anybody. Maybe it's just me, but it's important for me to say, I am I am in no way benefiting from telling you if these are good or these are bad. I think they're good pans. I've heard other people be unhappy with them, and there might be some uh, truth to that, but for me, I've been pretty, pretty happy with them. Hopefully you've seen enough of these with me rambling in it. There's no loss of any color or loss of any of the coating for it on these pans. Um, I haven't had that problem at all, but if you look around edges, you can see some of the gold is gone, and I'm attributing that just to putting the lid on and off it. So I would assume in time that could be a problem, but as for the cooking surface, I have not had that problem at all. So overall, my opinion, two thumbs up. If you're looking for some decent cookware, especially the induction part. If, you, if you're interested in induction because I take an induction cooktop with me, um, I don't think you're gonna find much better a deal out there for induction pans. They can be quite expensive and they can be difficult to find non-stick. And for me, when you're RVing, a non-stick pan makes your life so much easier if you're either conserving water or just not looking to make a big mess. You know, you either have a small kitchen sink or limited water. Cleanup is very easy with these, which is a, which is a great factor in life and in RV life. So as I said in the original video I did when I first purchased these, I was a little bit leery of them. If you go online, not everybody agrees. There are some good reviews and there are some bad reviews. So uh, 
I was happy that somebody I knew had purchased them and was happy. And after my four months, I'm very satisfied with these. Can I guarantee the same experience for you? Obviously not, because I don't think everybody on the internet is out there lying to say that they were unhappy with their pans. And I don't think everybody that's saying they're happy with them was lying. All I can tell you is my first-hand experience. And if I were to lose these, if they fell out of the RV while I was driving, I would replace them. I would buy another set. Hopefully that's helpful. Have a great and wonderful day.